My friends, it just keeps happening. This is truly one of the most shocking, unexpected, and controversial GoldenEye world records ever set. That is, if this was truly set. A completely unknown person, under very mysterious and unusual circumstances, has claimed to have beaten a world record set by Carl Jobst in 2018, tied by Perfect Ace, Cali W, and numerous other great GoldenEye legends. But how could this have happened? Is this new record true and authentic? Or is this some kind of elaborate hoax? It's just beyond cooked and beyond kooky, and quite frankly, no one really knows what to make of this. So buckle up, my friends, and take in the story of Frigate 21. So today's story is about the series of unusual consequences that followed someone anonymously posting a speedrun video to the GoldenEye speedrun community. And if you want to pull off something similar to the protagonist of this story, you would need to remain completely anonymous online with the help of NordVPN. And you can get a big discount on NordVPN with my link, nordvpn.com slash stay true in the description. Now listen up, because you're not going to get this perspective from anyone else. Want to post on old message boards and forums while remaining anonymous? Well, bad news, pals, because older style web forums generally will log your IP where the admins can directly see it. I mean, pretty much all websites do this, but in a small online community, you might know the admin and they might know you. If I wanted to, say, make a new persona of an Irish lad named Sean O'Brien and interact with a community, well, I would need to connect to an Irish IP before logging in and posting. NordVPN makes that easy. Now, let's say I go into a fellow community member's Twitch channel and they have one of these pesky viewer geolocation trackers on. Well, if I show up without protection, I'm toast. However, with NordVPN, I can continue the ruse that I'm actually Sean O'Brien. Why might this be useful? Well, I'll let you decide that, and we might find out in today's story. But if you need anonymity online, you need NordVPN. And great news, my friends, I have my very own link where you'll get a big discount. NordVPN.com slash stay true and get extra subscription time. Try it risk-free now with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Of course, I don't need to tell you that cyber attacks are on the rise big time. You want as much protection as you can get online. Just another reason to get NordVPN's useful tools, the NordPass Password Manager, which stores and keeps your passwords even when you're offline, and the Data Breach Scanner, which scans the web and informs you if your sensitive information has been exposed in a data breach. So, get NordVPN with my link below, big discount, extra subscription time, and go wild with your ARGs, artistic plans, and strange dreams interacting with various communities online, safely, and anonymously. Rebecca Smiths is the name of a YouTube account and GoldenEye Elite speedrun rankings profile page who posted a video of Frigate Agent 21. This is apparently a brand new GoldenEye Untied World Record, and a very significant one at that. Here's what this Rebecca Smith's YouTube page looks like today. Simply one video, Frigate Agent 21. Now, hold that thought while we watch this Frigate Agent 21, the seventh level in GoldenEye, simplest difficulty, where you must rescue two hostages and throw a tracking bug on the helicopter. Rebecca's run uses a well-known strategy that one might expect for a Frigate Agent 21, a time that has known to be possible for several years. You see, the difficulty in getting 21 amounts to two distinct things here. One is that there's a very niche technique, which I've discussed a handful of times in previous videos, where you must use a very clunky control style, Domino 2.3, where you use the D-pad or C buttons on one controller and the control stick on the other at the same time to strafe with full speed. This makes movement very, very difficult and takes a lot of practice to master. You can switch your control style back to something more normal at the tracker bug throw, however it's still very common for guards to get in your way and troll your movement here as well, so that has to be factored in. And for two, well, assuming you have mastered 2.3 domino control style, you still need lucky hostage escape odds. 
The first one whom you release in the cutscene, which isn't even an easy thing to do in terms of getting the aim correct in that cutscene, well he has to choose his one in seven best escape points. Then you need to release the second hostage and have him choose his best one in six escape points, with total odds of hostage completion at one in 42. And you need to hope that the guards don't excessively troll you, nor the hostages, nor are there any other strange things happening on the run causing it to fail. So the odds of getting completion here are really one in several hundred attempts. Now, that all being said, Rebecca's run does appear legit at a cursory glance. And I'll say right off the bat, I do have my curiosities about this run, as we'll get into later, but it does seem legit as far as the eye can tell. 21 has known to be possible for a long time, so this isn't a run that goes beyond general expectations or capabilities for the game. For example, take White Ted, who was the first person to successfully use the 2.3 control style on a world record run when he tied the 22 second world record of Carl Jobs back in August 2020. Well, White Ted on more than one occasion played a run of Frigate Agent in 21 seconds, getting the rare hostages to escape in that speed, but missing the bug throw, thus failing the mission, costing him the untied world record. White Ted could have been said to be on the cusp of the new record, 21, and everyone in the community knew that 21 was viable for those willing to master the 2.3 control style, while hopefully not choking too many bug throws. So when this Frigate 21 of Rebecca Smith's was posted, it was not the record itself which was unbelievable and shocking, but rather the context in which it was allegedly set, which stunned onlookers and has shaken the community to its core. So let's take a look at that context, some emerging theories, and other thoughts about this speedrun in a handful of points to further examine the matter. Number one is pre-existing credibility. When Frigate Agent 23 was set by Wilder Jansen in 2005, well, this was a fellow who had been in the community for many years, set hundreds of records, most of which had readily accessible video proof, which was no easy feat at that time in internet history. Wilder documented his grind for 23 immensely, updating the community regularly on his progress, sharing videos of duplicated 24s and failed 23s. So when he finally completed Frigate Agent 23, it was stunning and amazing because the record itself was a remarkable achievement, but not because of who achieved it. Everyone knew if someone was going to get that time, it was likely going to be Wilder, a champion of the game. When Frigate Agent 22 was set by Carl Jobs in 2018, once again, everyone knew Carl was an established speedrunner for decades by that point. Carl was live streaming his attempts, making it very clear to any onlooker just how regularly he was pacing 22 seconds. He was tracking towards the time and grinding out his sessions, and while Carl did complete the 22 after only a few hours of play, much sooner than even he expected, it was still not shocking to anyone that it was Carl who ended up getting the time. However, with this Frigate Agent 21 by Rebecca Smiths, well, no one knows this Rebecca Smiths. No one has heard of this person in the community. They've never interacted, shared videos, live streamed, and of course, none of that is necessary, and it is understandable in a way that someone might want to remain more or less anonymous on the internet in this day and age. I get it. There's no rule stating that you need to interact with the community and live stream and so on in order to have your runs counted. But it is still fair to take a step back, look at the overarching situation, and understand that Rebecca lacks this pre-existing credibility and any other career speedrunning context, and so some raise suspicions about this Frigate 21. And I think even Rebecca would understand and agree why this is the case. My second thought is just entertaining the possibility that this could be an elaborate troll or a hoax, and if so, by whom and for what purpose. Of course, much elaborate trolling on the internet is just done for the sake of it, so that might not even need an answer. It might just have been done as an experiment for the laughs, but someone could also have faked this run to spite the GoldenEye speedrunning community in one way or another. Making a fake profile or an alt account as a means to achieving some end goal is not uncommon behavior on the internet. So could someone who had a disagreement with the community, or someone who might even have been banned before, have achieved or faked this run simply to rustle up some feathers and cause controversy? 
or even Rebecca Smith's could be an alter ego of an established speedrunner just doing it for the lols. Third, we must talk about some irregularities with the run itself. For one, the video quality features a lot of interlacing, which is generally discouraged and considered bad form in proof videos. While this doesn't inherently prove or indicate anything nefarious, lower quality video does make it easier for fake or splice runs to get through, since if the whole run has inconsistencies, it's hard to pick up a single inconsistency that determines a run's inauthenticity. That being said, the interlacing isn't too bad, and there's nothing outwardly odd or offensive about this run. That is, aside from Rebecca apparently skipping most of the ending cutscene. Now once again, this is not inherently a tell that the run is fake, but it is certainly odd. Because of Frigate's nature, needing to play out thousands of runs to get a single completion at a fast speed, the Frigate ending cutscene appearing is one of the most joyous moments for any GoldenEye speedrunner. So we usually let it play out, in excitement, giving just the tiniest bit of slow roll before revealing our time. However, Rebecca just cuts the cutscene early with pure ice-cold blood. Again, nothing about this is inherently suspicious, rule-breaking, or troublesome, but pretty much no one else cuts the cutscene early on Frigate Runs, making it just another thing that sticks out. And that's really all it does. Stick out. And the fourth and final point I want to discuss is that, well, when I talked about my first point, that Rebecca had no pre-existing context in the community, that was only partially true. You see, there are two little crumbs of pre-existing context, but these only make things more strange and suspicious. In June 2022, a Discord account appearing to be Rebecca Smith's joined the Elite Discord and posted a speedrun, Frigate Agent 22, which tied the world record at the time. This was this Rebecca Smith's only post in the Elite Discord or Elite community as a whole to this point. The Discord account posted this and joined the Elite Discord on the same day the account was created. That's sort of signature throwaway account behavior. Now consider this further. When Rebecca announced the Frigate 21, it was done in the exact same way, on a brand new Discord account, which was created and joined the Elite Discord on the same day it shared the video. Why not just use the previous account? That's just very, very strange. Well, speaking of that, note this. The Frigate Agent 22 is on a different YouTube channel, albeit one also titled Rebecca Smith's, as the Frigate Agent 21. Once again, why not just use the same account? What's with all the throwaways? And here's something even further. On the channel with the Frigate 22, in the About section, they link to an old channel on which we can find a speedrun of Surface 1 Agent 104 from 8 years ago. This is a time which is not even in the top 100, and not even notable when set, as the world record on that stage was 102, set back in 2008. So what's the deal with this Surface 1 Agent 104? Why was this time of no consequence posted in 2015, and then nothing was posted again from anyone claiming to be Rebecca Smith's, until a Frigate Agent 22 on a different channel, and then a 21 a year later on yet another different channel? I mean, that's just strange. It's just such a weird operation. It's almost exactly what you would do if you were setting up a fake persona or profile to sort of establish an existence years ago, but then get lazy about it, for it to upload similarly beginner tier runs like Surface 1104, and then just come along a few years later with some suspicious runs. So all that being said, here's how the story played out from there. On December 21st, 2023, the speedrun moderators decided to remove the Frigate Agent 21 of Rebecca Smith's, using the video interlacing as sort of an out, claiming that this run did not meet modern proof standard quality, which is technically true. And you know, some people thought that the run should stay up, but given the suspicions surrounding Rebecca Smith's, I think this was a fair thing to do. However, two days later, something even more shocking took place when Rebecca Smith's posted yet another Frigate Agent 21, duplicating the speedrun, this time in good quality. We can tell this is a completely different speedrun, because on the first 21, Rebecca gets boosted after the bug throw, whereas this does not happen on the second 21. 
Now, while this is remarkable and stunning, it's pretty shocking that Rebecca was able to complete two Frigate 21s in such close succession. You know, almost too shocking or even elevating the suspicion level a little bit. To compare, in both the cases of Wouter Jansen's Frigate 23 and Carl Jopst's Frigate 22, when those were set, it took roughly two years for anyone to tie the record. Thus, world record speed frigate completions are generally considered pretty rare. Yet here, Rebecca purportedly got two in roughly one week. This further suspicion sent some of the moderators and community members into deep detective work trying to get to the bottom of the Rebecca Smith's saga. The mods asked Rebecca Smith for more proof, including playing some frigate with at least the controllers and a television visible, to demonstrate some real-life ability in playing this complicated stage. On December 24th, a 7 minute video was provided to the mods which looked like this, and thus it was passed around various corners of the community who examined it closely. And while this did seem to illustrate that Rebecca Smith's did have frigate ability on par of what would be needed for frigate 21, some other elements in the video caused things to begin to unravel. You see, years ago, a meeting took place between then top 10 GoldenEye speedrunner and future champion of the game, Luke Sklars, and another up-and-coming speedrunner who went by Mirror Mage. They had a typical gamer meetup, playing some multiplayer, doing some speedruns, and having a good time, so Luke became somewhat familiar with Mirror Mage's television. When Luke saw the session footage of purported Rebecca Smith's, he noticed this green bug on the CRT television, something he recalled being permanently present on Mirror Mage's TV all those years ago. Other moderators and community members examining the footage drew comparisons to other live streams of Mirror Mage from the past, suggesting similarities in ways that the controller was being tapped or held between runs. It was also noted that day, and here's the real kicker, that Mirror Mage and Rebecca Smiths logged onto the GoldenEye rankings from the same IP address that day. The forum admin were able to notice this. Mirror forgot to use NordVPN. Oh dear. Mirror Mage is a pretty long time speedrunner of GoldenEye, having set substantial records in the past, including the original Depot Agent 23, so it was somewhat shocking to learn that he might be the one behind the Rebecca Smith's alias. And with that, the gig was pretty much up. There was no getting around this. The moderators prodded for more, asking for a session video which included face cam, promising not to release it publicly if this were a truly legitimate Rebecca Smith's, but knowing this would be pretty much an impossible task from both ends, Rebecca Smith's finally gave it up. Though, not without one final blaze of glory. Uploading a tied world record, Surface 2 Agent 46 by Mirror Mage to the most recent Rebecca Smith's YouTube channel. Thus, pretty much giving hard confirmation that indeed, Mirror Mage was Rebecca Smith's. The reaction to this revelation was pretty mixed, leaning on negative. Some onlookers enjoyed the scene, found the whole situation to be a funny and silly troll incident, you know, having a good laugh here and there about it. However, there was a lot of backlash, with some even calling for permanent ban from the GoldenEye rankings, and others proclaiming that trust has simply been broken in the community. And especially on Frigate, a level where one needs to trust the speedrunner, it's just a step too far to believe anymore. As for why Mirror Mage did it, there's still been no revelation of any motive other than just perhaps having a laugh online. And in a way, I do understand that motive. You know, after all, it's kind of what got me started making videos here. Just something to occupy one's time on the internet and have a bit of fun. And I mean, many of the world's greatest achievements have been things done out of simple boredom. Whether it's climbing a mountain or making a masterful artwork. And of course, the Rebecca Smith's Frigate 21 incident is not something I will directly compare to climbing Mount Everest or painting the Mona Lisa, 
but who's to say that this whole thing wasn't an artistic undertaking to begin with? A kind of performance art, blending speedrunning with a social experiment and a little prank, setting some untied world records all the while, and seeing where the chips lie. There is a point in the proof policy of the Golden Knight rankings which reads, any prank runs that have no intention of being legitimate, such as April Fools, must be cleared with a moderator prior to posting and claimed by the player as a joke upon first inquiry. Now, while this doesn't exactly describe the Rebecca Smith's situation, because perhaps Mirror did want the 21 to be ranked legitimately, the prank part was not that the run was fake, but that the user was fake. Despite all this, Mirror Mage would go on to write up a post detailing his journey to Frigate 21, and did acknowledge that he broke the prank runs must be clear with a moderator prior to posting part of the proof policy, ready to accept any punishment that may be doled out for these actions. However, it remains unclear what will happen next. Mirror does claim that his Frigate Agent 21s are legitimate, but many find it too hard to believe to officially rank them, in light of the whole Rebecca Smith's deception. At the end of the day, I do think this whole endeavor was silly and unnecessary overall, and it being done during the Christmas break was in poor taste, you know, because this threw a wrench into the moderator's plans, having them have to look into this during the Christmas break. So I do not condone the overall arch of the story. But that being said, I do think it was generally some mostly harmless fun. Mirror Mage did reveal the hoax after about a week, giving it just enough play in the community without stringing people along for too long, and it's just yet one more fascinating chapter of a strange and unusual history in the GoldenEye Elite community, which is ultimately what makes it such a remarkable and charming corner of the internet. We may never fully know or understand why Mirror Mage did what he did, but there, my friends, is the new lore, the true story of Rebecca Smith's, and the anonymously posted speedruns that wreaked havoc on the community for a whole week. Let me know your thoughts about this situation. Does Rebecca deserve a permanent ban from speedrunning Goldeneye? Or is this something we should just step back from, look back and laugh at in a few years time? I'll love to see and read what you all think about it. In the meantime, my friends, thanks for watching, stay true, and I'll see you in the next stream or video. Happy New Year!